Greetings, citizens of Nerdropolis. Sean Todd here, the mayor of Nerdropolis, and my guests today are two talented filmmakers who are bringing Tyler Perry's story to Prime Video with Maxine's baby. Hello. What's up, Sean? <laughs> Galina and Armani, it's a real pleasure to talk to y'all today. I absolutely love this documentary, Maxine's Baby, the Tyler Perry story. It was so inspiring and emotional, and I could see a lot of myself in Tyler Perry's journey as a creator and an entrepreneur myself. Uh, first off, can you both tell me the very first time you met Tyler Perry and the first impression he left after you met him? Wow. First of all, you have a great voice. Yeah, um, <laughs> first time I met in person, I'm assuming. First time I yes. met him in person, it was in Los Angeles. I was 23, 24, I think, 23. And I was saying, wow, he's... New York. Yeah, I, I was so... No, I was, I was in LA. Oh, yes, First time sorry. I filmed him was in New York. Okay. Yes, and yes. then uh, I was like, wow, he's so tall. <laughs> I didn't know he was that tall. And then uh, he was just so kind and so down to earth. So that was my first impression of when I, of when I met him. Uh, well, I met him the first time uh, in 2007 or 2008. Um, I didn't know who he was. I was sort of new, fairly new to this country. And he was tall and I assumed he was a basketball player, close minded myself. Uh, and he was really funny. Like we had a, f a funny like humor. He was very funny and humorous. That was my, my first time memory. Yeah, those are great stories right there. Galia, why is now the perfect time to release this documentary? And how much footage was left on the, the cutting room floor? <laughs> um, I believe that documentaries are timeless. I think the human story can live and, and be told. And, you know, I pick up films that I've seen 10 years ago and are still move me uh, more or even the same or even more. Um, so I think about his story, you know, we could have stopped filming and started cutting when the studio opened. And then that was a, a grand moment in, in Tyler's career. But something told us that we needed to continue. What, what will happen after? And then yeah. pandemic hit. And then again, him being a dreamer created a formula and how to sort of continue work and keep everyone safe and continue production. And that was a, a fascinating, because there was no rehearsal has never happened before. So it was the first time, again, front row seat as to what's happening. Um, and also, you know, this film we feel like can speak to so many, whether you're a fan, you're about to sort of see an intimate portrait of a, a man that you thought you knew. And if you're a critic, hopefully you also hear your voice being heard and there's a conversation you can sort of, um, uh, that resonates with you. If you're an entrepreneur like yourself and a creative, hopefully that moves you to sort of be inspired by all these formulas that he's created, regardless of all the, <laughs> the yeah. challenges yeah. that he's faced. Um, so I feel like it's timeless, you know, I I think about young people in my country seeing this film and, and can hopefully feel inspired that they are beyond their circumstances and they can dream. We think about, you know, kids in New York and New Orleans. Um, so we, we're always sort of like thinking about all the people that could touch and, and film art books reach far, you know, into the globe yeah. than anything else. Yeah. Armani, um, I'm sure there's a lot of footage not used. Any chance the stuff we haven't seen, we can be used for a future <laughs> documentary or another a part two or something? I feel like there was so much more uh, part two. Uh, that we could have seen mm. and a lot of great stuff. I mean, he's not done yet, too. No, uh, he's still going. So he, I'd love he, to see more of it. He's definitely keep he's going to keep dreaming. He's going to keep growing. He's going to get bigger and better. Um, if there is a part two, hopefully it doesn't take 10 years. I don't know <laughs> if we are if we have a part two in us, um, but there's absolutely, we have over 500 terabytes of footage, um, hard drive upon hard drive upon hard drive, and so many things uh, were on the cutting room floor. Um, some things that we had to part with just because, you know, we, we had to make this into something that it was easily digestible for people. But yeah, like, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll off, off camera, you and me will talk, and I'll, I'll, show, you, I'll show you some clips. <laughs> no, I would love to. It's such a great documentary. Can the both of you share any impactful moments from the journey while creating this documentary? I'm sure there's times that, you know, had a lasting effect on the both of you. Wow. Yeah, uh, I, I would say one of the best moments was the grand opening, just because I remember just being with him 
And for the first time, I saw kind of like the, the, the gravity of the moment in terms of what is going to mean for the community when they see those sound stages, when they see everyone uplifting one another. Um, that I remember one saying this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I'm glad that I'm a part of it. And two, you can, can I curse here? No, don't, don't mess <laughs> Don't, don't mess this up because it's a once in a lifetime <laughs> opportunity and you'll never be here ever again. Yeah. I mean, you said everything. Yeah. I think just watching the impact like watching how people react to him and also the, the, the impact around him, like every decision he makes affects other people. And like his, he says this quote often, which is your dreams are tied to other people's dreams. And what does that look like in practice? I love that. I just want to thank both of you for talking to me today about this great documentary. And I really hope it reaches, you know, beyond the people that know Tyler Perry and he reaches a new audience and experience a Tyler Perry film because I'm going to rewatch uh, Boo, I mean, <laughs> Boo this weekend. That's one of my favorite. It's Halloween time. Sweet. And so uh, I'm definitely going to be watching that probably this weekend. But thank you all so much. And Armani, I'm going to hit you up for that footage. Oh, yes, I got you, yes. brother. Thank you, man. Thank you. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Once again, this is Sean Taj, the mayor of Nertropolis, and stay tuned for more movie news, reviews, interviews, and trailers.